Ryan, this is Chantal over here. We're going to be taking this walk today. And uh, as we know that we are in an area where there's uh, potentially dangerous animals, there need to be some uh, rules to this walk. So there's five basic main rules and then a few additional smaller ones. But the five basic main rules that you need to remember whilst on this walk is that I'm going to be leading the walk. Okay, and if I give you a command at any stage, you need to react upon it immediately. Okay, then I'm also going to ask that we walk in single file, okay, with minimum noise. So that doesn't mean that you can't talk, but what it means is that uh, we, we should try to lower our voices. There's the dogs, they're calling. Okay, so while we're walking, we're going to keep our voices down. If you want to get my attention, you can click your fingers, or you can slap your thigh, or anything like that, but uh, just don't shout at me because you never know, there might be an elephant hiding behind the bush and he hears that and, well, then it could be quite awkward. As you can see, I'm carrying a very dangerous piece of equipment here. Okay, this is a 375 rifle. Okay, it's basically an elephant gun. Okay, and uh, so when I'm walking, I usually keep the barrel pointed ahead of me. So please do not go in front of the barrel. The barrel is obviously the, the dangerous side of the rifle. And if I put the rifle down, if I'm pointing something out on the, on the ground or something and I put the rifle against the tree or something like that, please don't go near it. Okay, and then probably the most important of all the rules is if we do come across anything dangerous, okay, under no circumstances, unless I tell you to, do you run, so no running. Okay, animals have this instinctive um, instinctive knowledge that if something's running away from them, they have the upper hand and they might as well give chase. So we don't run away from animals.